In Vernon, California, DTSC has announced an enforcement order that compels Exide Technologies to clean up its contamination, set aside funding for cleanup, and correct hazardous waste violations and pay penalties for them. This is a critical and necessary step to outline the legal obligations that Exide must meet to protect the health of the people within the nearby community and to provide the funds to meet those obligations. The order addresses three specific areas. Corrective action, to clean residential properties in the two areas identified by the South Coast Air Quality Management District as having the highest likelihood of being impacted by airborne contaminants. Exide must deposit $9 million in a secure trust fund. Exide must develop a detailed plan to address any contamination from its facility. Exide must provide additional funds for investigations and cleanups on and off of the facility's property. Closure. The order requires Exide to set aside a total of $38.6 million to safely close its Vernon property when the facility is no longer in operation. Currently, $11.1 million is set aside for this purpose. The order requires Exide to place an additional $27.5 million in a secure trust fund. This $38.6 million in financial assurance addresses current closure cost estimates for the facility. Closure costs can be increased if new information is developed. Exide must develop a detailed plan to address any contamination on the facility property. Exide must provide additional funds for investigations and cleanups on the facility's property. Enforcement. Exide must pay penalties in the amount of $526,000 for past violations and immediately enhance safety systems at the facility to correct its past violations. The facility is not recycling batteries at this time. Exxon cannot operate its recycling operation until it corrects these violations. The order also requires Exxon to pay DTSC $760,000 in oversight costs incurred after Exxon filed for bankruptcy. The order does not affect DTSC's upcoming decision to deny or approve Exide's permit application.